All right, guys, here we are, Lake Ontario, live scoping giant smallmouth. I'm throwing some new Yamamoto stuff. Jared's throwing some new stuff as well. Giants, make sure you guys stay tuned. It's gonna be a good one. There you go. Biggin? There you go, Jared. Biggin. Good one? I don't know. We just got here though. Came out to the world famous Lake Ontario, huh? No, it's not a big one. <laughs> we're not using that. Cut. <laughs> and we're not using that. Cut. Jared. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey. All right, so here we are. New day, new lake. We came out to Lake Ontario. This is actually my first time out in the big lake. We just pulled up on this island. We just got here. I'm throwing some, uh, some new stuff here from Yamamoto and it didn't take long. Got a giant on here, man. You know, it's not too often that uh, you get to come out to Lake Ontario or any of these great lakes, honestly. You know, just because the uh, the wind and you know being from from Idaho here. But uh, Jared, this is a big one, man. It's a big one. Yes, sir. This is a dang big one. Nice. Look at this thing. Here it comes. Oh, damn, dude, that's a big one. Oh. oh, yeah. Nice job, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is it. Look at that. A little drop shot, three inch shad shaped worm. Jared, I think we're going to have a good day, buddy. Good job, dude. Heck yeah. Get it started. Big smallmouth today, Great Lakes, here we go. All right, so what we're doing here today is we're like say, we're out on Lake Ontario, we're just trying, kind of drifting around, the wind's not even really blowing. Yeah, this is all like residual stuff pretty much. Yeah, just, but it's still pretty rough and we're just drifting around. I think a big key today is gonna be looking at some of this Garmin stuff, looking at live scope, you know, trying to find individual fish to throw at. Not a lot of rock out here yet that we've seen, so yeah. Yeah, a lot of gobies. You know, I think uh, for me, the weapon of choice definitely gonna be a drop shot here. Uh, Jared, what are you gonna throw? Drop shot, I might mix in a little Ned here after a while. We got that new uh, bait finesse rod, that Steez, so I might try that and see if they're, you know, wanna feed off the bottom, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Gonna be rough, should be fun, some big water. Big water, big fish. Big water, big fish, man. Big one? Well, that was pretty cool. Heck yeah, that was cool. Finally, not a five pounder, Cody, but Still fun. Heck yeah, that's uh, fun. Decent fish. You know, Cody's been doing his deal with his uh, Yamamoto, and I've been working through the eye shads, the jackal eye shads, and finally found this goby color and caught that little guy. But I need, I need to get bigger, Cody. For sure. So, question for you, Cody. Sure. Tell the people why, when you're out here smallmouth fishing like this, doing these kind of techniques, a spinning outfit, like I'm throwing this LT Daiwa Tatula LT with the new Tatula XT rod. So they have six spinning rods. This here's the medium uh, action seven foot. And then they have uh, some other spinning rods and they got nine bait casters, including two um, glass rods. So, but the, the whole thing with that is it's a really, really good quality rod. You see I'm out here fishing on the Great Lakes with it for $99. So yeah. really, can't beat that, but again, 
why would, you know, if you're a novice or you're just coming out here and you get a, you're on a charter boat, say, and you're coming out of Clayton, New York or something, you just show up with spinning tackle. Yeah, because one, you know, smallmouth, the, the water visibility right now is so clear that these fish have really, really good eyes. They're visual feeders. You know, they're gonna be able to see really well. Uh, so the lighter line is gonna be key. You know, that six, eight pound test. I'm throwing eight today, uh, just because some of the size of these fish, but you're gonna want a really good line and a really good reel to handle that line. I'm going with the Daiwa Tattoo LT. Uh, the drag is just absolutely amazing. It's so smooth. And that's gonna be a big deal with some of these big smallmouth. It's one of the lightest reels on the market uh, right now. It's obviously it's going to be tough. It's an amazing drag, a really good price point, and uh, something that's not going to break the bank that anybody can fish with. You know, I throw a spinning rod and reel combo a ton, and uh, this is one of my favorite spinning reels for sure right here. Really high gear ratio too as well. It's a six-two gear ratio. Uh, that's really important when you're throwing a, a you know some light line stuff because. You make that really long cast, you get that bite way out there, you set the hook, you'll be able to pick up a lot of line really quick, and uh, you're not gonna lose as many for sure. What size are you throwing? I'm throwing a 3,000, so okay, I like the 3,000. I'm throwing the 4,000. Yeah. Little, you can see the difference, bigger handle, but it holds a lot, it holds more line. Yeah. Um, you know, just fit, I just like the way it feels, but that 3,000, I have a couple of those too, so. Yeah, I like the 3,000. Brent Ayler, um, I know he throws the 4,000, Seth Fighter. You know, so it's just all preference, but you want a high gear ratio reel, awesome reel here, and pairing that up with the Daiwa Tetsu Elite Rod. Um, Jared's got the XT, and- uh, Keep talking, I see one on Panoptics. Yeah, we're catching some of these bass. Making pitches with Panoptics, finding some smallmouth. There's a big one. Big one? Yeah. Maybe Jared, that's the deal. Slid out to 35 feet. Well, a little deeper. Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> oh, man. This is what we come here for. This is a big one. You know, we've been fishing this flat. We've been using the Garmin Live Scope and we've been looking around everywhere. And, and uh, we started off, we caught a nice one right off the bat. Then we caught a, a couple small ones. We slid out to that 35 foot range. And this is definitely. That's the kind right that there. That is a kind we want right there. Look at the size of this dude. Yes, sir. All right. Look at that. You got one, Jared? Oh, I got a hog. Hey, look at that. That's a five pounder for sure. Little tiny little nose hook too. I'm throwing this little owner mosquito hook. New three inch little Yamamoto shad shape worm, new size. And dude, look at the size of that one. Hey, who's this bigger? <laughs> hey, here, here's Jared Littner, Live Scope, Cody Martin. No, I'm just kidding. What? Yeah. <laughs> hey, but look at that. Let's let's go ahead and release her that came out at 35 feet. That thing's got to be, what do you say, Jared? Five pounder, huh? Yeah, easy. I mean, that thing is absolutely thick, dude. Giant smallmouth. That's so cool. On him? Digging? I saw it on the graph, dude. No. So fun, though. It's a dark one. Saw it on the graph. That's, the, that's what they're eating right there. They're eating those gobies. Man, this thing's. I don't want to give up. Let me show you guys that goby here. Not a big one, but that was awesome. To see it down there, here's what they're eating. For sure. Goby just spit it up. Pretty appetizing. Good time, Cody. Is it a good one? It tricked me. Hey, that was that was one that you just 
it's all the way out there. Dude, I had to like let it sit there forever. Nah, he's not that good, but no. Nah. Man, he is mean. Fall out, don't give up, that's for sure. Uh, he's a light color one. I thought it was a big tank. Look how thick they are though. Oh, yeah. One right under the boat too. They've drifted off to almost 40 feet deep now. Well, we've got to get him back in what? There you go. Big kind? No, just a little dude. Real fun though. But you find a little wad of them, you know, that, that live scope brought us over to this fish and I saw that. Oh, oh man. Oh, you mire. Well. Check your knots. Yeah, I just caught. You, you lying. I just caught a big one. And I tried to boat flip one. We're fishing around these goby. Just broke it off. Of course, was, he never does that in a bass pro tour. No. Money's on fire. No. <laughs> oh, I haven't retied in a long time. Biggin? Biggin. No, it's not. But it's still fun. That's what we're after here. A couple more like this and we'll get to that 25 range. Kobe Meyer. Kobe? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you losing your shit right now? <sighs> oh, cut. Dude, it damn near fell in and just rolled on in. Come on, Kobe Meyer. Out of the old Vexus to roll. Oh. You got him. What the heck? <laughs> Two fell on the other side of the boat. That's a big dog. <laughs> Fun. Sitting up some gobies. They don't want to give up. I know that. Look how small that little mouth is. We just saw that dude on the graph drop down. Got us another one. That's what they're eating, boys. There you see. This right here is what. These bass are eating. Sound and off. Dude, the drag technique. Been pitching at him on live scope, and they just started fishing right below the boat. Corey's hooked up. I'm hooked up. See that drag? That's awesome. Yeah, we just pulled up here, kind of made another drift, and maybe we're on to something, Cody. Maybe we're on to some fat little dudes. I mean, they are stuck. So, I'm gonna show you guys something here. So like I, I sand before, I've been messing around with the uh, crosstails, had a few bites, and really it's all about finding a, a bait they want. This here's the, uh, the iShad 3.8 Gobi, obviously Gobi color. But the iShad, this bait right here, there's a 2.8, 3.8 obviously. It was designed to fish on a little tiny, tiny jig head for swimming, like, you know, fishing suspended fish and I was like well looks like a dang good drop shot worm to me so it's got a little flake in it uh, put it on a, a number one trocar drop shot hook and uh, just dragging it around eight pound FC sniper sunline and like I said I'm pretty impressed with that Tatula XT you know it's the first really week I've had a chance to throw them the bait caster as well as that spinning rod um, you know for the for the price 
it's a really good value. And um, yeah, hopefully we get on to something here, Cody. Sounds good, man. They're starting to bite. Starting to bite a little bit. I gotta add a little pot ski just for extra, extra advantage. You got him? Got him. Good one? Not a bad one. Nice one. Maybe, yeah. We're seeing them on pan optics, and a lot of the ones that we're seeing, we're not catching, but on the 2D, when we see them on the regular 2D and just drag real slow right on top of them, they'll little, bite. Little dude, but he was mean. Kind of weird. Yeah. Way behind the boat, huh? Way behind the boat, dragging. Dude, that's the Dude, deal. Dude, this is a big one here. That's the deal, dragging. Dragging on that ledge, man. You know, I'm throwing, Jared is, I'm throwing a little Yamamoto shad-shaped worm. This is a new one, it's a three-inch bait. Nose hooking it on a little owner mosquito hook, size number two, so it's tiny on eight pounds. You know, maybe it's not that big, but look at that big old goby just spit out. Oh. Man, that was so far back there, it felt big. It's not, but that's what we've been doing now. We've made a move and we're still looking on live scope for sure, but we're just dragging behind the boat. And they're definitely, they're definitely mean here on Lake Ontario. It on the fall. Suspended bass. Cute little guy. Cute little guy, Cody Meyer. Oh, he's pooping all over Cody. Say again? Oh, yeah. I think it's a nice one, Jared. Oh, oh yeah. man, yes. A lot. That was crazy, Jared. I was literally just... Dude, I got a goby. <laughs> I was literally, I had a goby on. Really? It was biting it. Look at that. Look that's the what, size of that goby. Hey, that's what they're biting. And I had one playing with the goby, biting the goby, and all of a sudden this thing took off, man. <laughs> Dude, this place is so cool. We've uh, we've been just playing around, you know, been live scoping some, and just been dragging around. You know, I'm throwing this Daiwa Tattoo Elite 7.4. This is a rod I designed. It's a little bit heavier than a normal drop shot rod. I have a, a seven foot drop shot rod as well, but I'm electing to go with the 7.4 to get a little bit more power. Daiwa Tattoo Elite, and I'll tell you, you know, my line of choice, so you can see the chartreuse line. This is Daiwa J Braid. This is grand here. I'm going with a uh, eight pound liter, fluorocarbon liter, and just a little itty bitty hook. You know, it's a two, number two owner mosquito hook. Um, and this new Yamamoto bait shad tape worm. Dude, this thing is so mean. This is the ones we're after. It has been a fun, fun day. Look at that big old girl. That's a big one. <laughs> yes, sir. Cody's on the big one. Look at that big old girl. Got her. Nice job, Cody Meyer. Woo! Hey, what a day so far. Look how that thing, little tiny hook, just pinned that dude right there. And that was it. <laughs> what a beautiful fish, man. Jared, I don't know. What do you think, man? Dude, that's freaking awesome, man. You're the hog master. <laughs> Big old smallmouth. Hey, if you guys like this vlog today, make sure you guys like, uh, share, tag a friend. Jared, what else we got? Don't forget to enter this week's gear giveaway for some awesome Daiwa stuff. And uh, 
Let's try to catch some more of those. Catch some I more. gotta catch one of those. Throw her back. Beautiful fish. 